My name is Sherrard Jackson, and I'm the creator of Darby. Darby is about a, uh, a bloodthirsty baby T-Rex and his family uh, trying to survive a savage land. Yeah, pretty simple premise, but you know, it's a little bit more heart and, and personality involved in it. And also just a little bit of insanity. Transformers, like G.I. Joe, uh, as far as like you know, Darby himself. Uh, of course, you can say like, like Godzilla. You see a Tyrannosaurus Rex in, in pop culture. It's, it's always presented as the monster or as, as the, the antagonist or something that you gotta fear. But here, I just want to present, present, it, present it as, you know, as the action hero, as the, as the star. Well, of course, as, as a kid, you know, you, you do your own comics, you, you at home, you, you do, you know, you, you do many comics, you do comics in, in high school. As a professional, uh, my friends and I, we started self-publishing. And from there, I just started doing more freelance work and just more uh, creator-owned projects. And just kind of like snowballed into to where I am now. Started off on um, Discover, and th the thing about, about Webtoon is I, I looked on a bike by chance. I had a, or heard some people talking about it at, at a convention, and you know, started getting some more information about Webtoon, about like uh, what the setup is. And at the time, I wanted to do I wanted to do, to do my own webcomic. I, wanted, I just wanted to do Darby. I didn't really know what that's what it was going to be at the time. And I was looking for a platform you know, to present it. And the way I was going about it initially, it was going to, to just like set up my own website. But I saw like uh, Webtoon, how everything's pretty much just, just, just uh, simple and easy to set up as far as getting a profile out and start posting your work. And so I started doing that. I had a few chapters of Darby already already ready to go. So I started posting those like a, like a weekly, some, some portions were daily. And then that's luck would have it. And people actually actually read it. They actually took interest. And this is just the best platform for it. Whatever story you have, tell it. You know, even even if you think, oh, this isn't ready, this isn't perfect, there's no such thing as perfect. You know, that'll never happen. Just there's only there's only good in not doing it. And also there's there's no excuse not to because there are so many resources out there for you for you and for your story, for your work to, to be to be presented, that the only thing stopping you from doing it is you not wanting to do it. And as far as like getting it getting it picked up or getting it published, I'd say don't focus on that. Focus on telling a good story. Always. You know, I've always I've always wanted to make sure that the work that I do was 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 just beneficial in, in, in some in some way. It be it be it entertainment, it be it informative, just 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 that you get something good out of it. And I have a platform to do that. And and I never I never imagined that that would happen for me. And and just and I, I, I cherish that so much.